What up y'all, T-Biz here, and we're gonna take a look at, uh, I got some Wave 85 goodness from O'Neill Design, because you know I like collecting the Glio stuff. And uh, I think one of my new resolutions for the new year, once it happens, and about next week, is, uh, is gonna be to just get rid of everything that I don't want as far as my collection go, and just, just focus on enjoying what I got. I think that's the biggest and main thing that I wanna do, is just focus on things that I like. That would be really awesome, and yeah, I'd be really stoked to be able to do that. But yeah, it's going to take some time. Anyways, let's dip into this and uh, check out some Wave 85 stuff that I got from O'Neill Design. There's a lot of cool stuff. There's an Armivore head pack, which is pretty nifty. Got them right here. Flip this sucker open. So you got extra Armivore heads. Once again, you've got the, the Warlords of War. Demon Wings. And then you got the cool, this nifty dragon head, which is cool. And it's kind of like the UT, like Longhorns Burnt Orange kind of look to it, which is really rad, but great sculpt anyways. Armivore head, or I guess it's the Cougar Egg head. And then there's, yeah. And there's the Piranha guy. I forget his name. Oh my God. You know, you have to forgive me. But yeah, it's sick. And then there's what else is next? There's the Biopyra Lava Gradient Theos figure, which they put out the um, like a molten version or just a straight translucent orange version that was like the that would when it went along great with the spaced out designs of Lava Guy. But yeah, I miss I actually missed out on that figure because I only had so much money and I was just gonna get a certain amount of figures and certain ones that I liked. And um, then yeah the straight translucent um Theos figure just the orange version just went really fast so that figure was gone but yeah this is pretty cool and I gotta make sure I don't lose my little translucent switch pin but yeah great design it's kind of cool too because you can switch the head around and have a total different look so that's also awesome and what's next in this whole big old pickup it would be the, um, oh, the Roderick's Captain Echelon, this guy. And we've seen this character a lot throughout a lot of O'Neill stuff. And I always like this design, too, because it's pretty cool. This particular sculpt. Because he's got the cool, like, little Robin bird guy type of look or whatever. Oh, weird, his knee pads are on, kind of funky, but let me see. Oh, there we are. They're just backwards. But yeah, there he goes. I, don't know. I like this color. It really sticks out. The details of the figure just, I don't know, they pop a little bit better with this color. And you got the orange paint right there. There's a little eye visor. Reminds me of um, kind of like DBZ a little bit. But yeah, cool figure, cool character. And then we got some extra stuff with that. These little extra parts and joints. Got the fading head. Oh, I got a cool little scar emblem right there. Or tampo. Whoop. And another head. Whoop. Well, butterfingers, but yeah. But there you go. And the scarf, the famous scarf. So yeah, tons of goodies. And what is next after that? We've got the um, the DSG Neo Frontier, and I forget this character. It's um, yeah, Deep Space Glion. Duh, this guy. I like this guy a lot. The minute I saw this character when the drop happened, I was like, I gotta get this dude. And another cool thing is um, some of these figures are still available. Some aren't. Some are, but. Yeah, I like this guy a lot. He just looks like a regular spaceman. He's got the cool little cape. It's kind of, there's kind of some dirt on it. I don't know if that's on purpose or what, but yeah, it's kind of maybe like space dust or something, but yeah, that's kind of cool. I like that effect. And once again, like the browns and the, those creamy uh, grayish whites and the gray just really pop. Adds to the detail of the figure and the character just to kind of, just makes it stand out a lot more. And once again, more pieces. 
use for customs, maybe a jet pack, maybe another character. More of like the build man heads and stuff. A little ray gun, if you will. For making custom weapons. A little dagger piece. But yeah, all good stuff. But yeah, a lot of good stuff. And I think they sent me some extras too. Like I can't, I don't know, I'm not 100% sure, but it feels like it. Let me see what the character is up next. It would be, bear with me. I guess it would be the, yeah, the Armor of War. This black version of the Armor of War. Yeah, there's a lot of figures in this wave. A lot of characters but it's the black version I forget his name but yeah I guess he would be the baddie of the bunch but it's the cougar egg and I like this this uh, color is really awesome looks pretty sinister pretty evil pretty menacing once again this piece can pop off right here but I'm just gonna leave it on for the sake of leaving it on. But yeah, that's pretty cool. I like this guy a lot. And then here's my little custom that I made with my Warlords of War guy. And used some Knights of the Slice boots. Made my Captain Hell Skull. That was pretty cool. But anyways, that has nothing to do with this video. I need to quit that. <laughs> And then we got another um, Armor of War. It's the Light War Great War, uh, version. The Neo Frontier Armor of War. So, yeah. Oh, this guy's rad. And yeah, these are two different sculpts, obviously. So we'll compare them side by side. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. I like his little eyepiece. It's rad. I'm starting to build up a big collection of these because when... I started getting really hardcore about almost two years ago, um, and I was staying at my girlfriend's house a lot, and um, and yeah, I was just collecting a bunch of these, and I just started just getting more into it, discovered Zul Beast, um, got more into the God Beast, and uh, just started just getting, finding things that I could, and um, and I would see the, um, the freaking uh, Armor Wars, and different Instagram posts and stuff like that. And I'd be like, what the heck are these figures? They're awesome. These characters are cool. Once again, here's some of the extra pieces and heads. This thing always reminds me of a little spaceship. I guess it could be like a gun or another head. But yeah, it's a very cool piece. But um, yeah, I had no idea about the Armor Wars or whereabouts or anything. And then when Onel started putting them out again, Yeah, I just had to get in there. I had to get on it because they were. I, I noticed they're kind of rare and kind of sought after. And I guess Jason Fraley is responsible for these sculpts. So yeah, they're very sick, very sick sculpts. And if I'm wrong, please correct me because um, I love Glyo stuff, but I'm not the know-it-all of anything Glyo. So I just, I'm a fan and I dig it and I like collecting and it's they're just cool. And I like, um, I like everybody in the community, like all the people that sell and sculpt and put out these figures everybody's cool they're all just i don't know it's cool i just like buying independent stuff it's just you can tell they're grateful and they hook you up and it's just it's great it's awesome here's some more goodies i got another um biopire to add to the collection in case i wanted to make another figure do a more like customizations out of it then i've got the um phase arm set and then I got a bunch of Axis joints for in case I ever need them, because you never know. And I think some of these might have been sent as extra. I'm not sure. I think some of them might have, because on the invoice I was looking at, I was like, wow. So thanks, O'Neill Design, for really hooking it up. Um, because some of these pieces seem like extras. 
And they always send you an extra Crayboth, which somebody on Instagram, I feel really bad, uh, wanted my, one of my Crayboths and I was down to hook them up or send it to them and I've just been real lazy about my social medias and I need to get a hold of that person and let them know that I'm gonna send it to them. They're free of charge, but yeah. And a hub set. I don't think I ordered this hub set, but I got it. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Thanks, Onel, for really hooking that up. And then I got the gray version of the Armivore head pack, which is the gray wings and the cougar head. And I forget his name, the piranha guy, but yeah. And the dragon head, so yeah, that's cool. And then they sent these uh, two extra heads. So got those too. So bevy of stuff, a lot of, a lot, a lot of stuff. So I'm really stoked about Wave 85. It's really cool. And um, let me see, if you wanna go, we go to the store real quick. You can look on my iPad. And yeah, if you go, yeah, you can, um, these are still available. So hit up O'Neill Design and yeah. And also um, another um, cool, cool, let me see if I get to Facebook. Um, the gliosalliance.com, I'll, I'll leave their website name. They've got some cool hoodies and a cool some cool art and a cool little minifigure too for sale. And um, yeah, you might wanna check that out because it's, I don't know, the, the Glass Alliance is a pretty cool community and um, I've been trying to get more involved. I don't know if I wanna share my videos or anything like that because I don't know, my videos are just, they're, they're here for what they are. If people dig them, then that's cool. And if not, that's understandable too. But I'm just trying to share info and the love of these figures and these toys because they're ridiculously awesome. And I think they're cooler than anything out there in the store. Well, everybody that's a look at Wave 85 from O'Neill Design, love the glass stuff, hope you do too. And if so, just always holler at me and let me know why. Because, uh, I don't know, it's, it's it's interesting to know. And it also be interesting to know if there's anybody else out in the community. I know some people uh, check out the videos and stuff like that. But more feedback would always help. Uh, once again, uh, thanks for watching, y'all. And I hope everybody survived the holidays. Because they were rough. And it's still kind of going. we got New Year's coming up. But um, once again, thanks everybody for subbing and stuff like that. And checking stop by, watching all that stuff. I always appreciate it. And uh, yeah, more videos and reviews definitely on the way. All right, later, y'all. Peace.